Today we're going to talk about how to make and create props like ramps and stages so that you can properly animate your videos, uh, video files of your drill with the students going up on to the stages and down the ramps and not have them collide or march through them. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we are going to create uh, just a, a couple page tabs so that when we animate, we can animate that properly. So let's just create one and two, 16 count move, and we're here on page one of a brand new file. And we're going to put out um, some performers that we're going to turn into props. Okay, so I'm going to use the point tool, pop somebody right here on the 50 yard line, let's create our stage first. Okay, so I'm going to highlight my performer that I just created. I'm going to go here to the visuals editing tool. Let's do a shape prop. And we'll do a box because that's probably the easiest to do. And say your band is going to have a, a six foot tall stage and it's going to be 10 feet, wide, uh, 10 feet long and four feet wide. Kind of a strip stage that maybe you put behind the pit or something. Okay. Okay, so there's our stage. It's pretty tall. It'll give us some, some length. It defaults to, to black. If you want it to face a different direction, you just click here and then just like with the um, performers, you just face it whatever way you want. So we'll face ours this way. Okay, but it, to get up and down the stage, we need to have a ramp. So let's put a ramp here and here. So we create two more performers. Okay, so it looks like this, two performers there. We're going to turn them into ramps. So let's go back again, select them, go to the Visuals Editing tool, Performer Prop. I believe it's a Structure Prop. Yeah, and there's one already called Ramp. And you want to make sure that it matches your height. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that it matches your height. So it's six feet tall. And it's going to need to be pretty wide. Oh, sorry, the width will be four. And it's going to need to be pretty long uh, to get up to that six foot without being too steep. So let's make our ramps, uh, let's say, 10 feet long. And that should look pretty good. Now they're going to come up facing the wrong direction, so we need to do some facing here. I still have them selected, so let's face them this way and apply changes. And then, of course, we have to get the other stage to face the proper direction. So just select it and then face it the other direction. And now you can see they are facing the proper directions. Now let's move them a little bit closer so that they connect. Select the push editing tool. I like to go to like a quarter step resolution here and then just slowly scooch it in until the seams match. Take a look at that. Yep, that looks good. Except, grab this guy here and move him in. And get him scooched in. Yep, maybe even go to eighth of a step. Looks like I'm I like I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to that type of thing. And there we go. Except, and it looks like we've got a stage. Now, you'll notice if you put some performers out there that they won't actually march on top of the stage. So let's put a guy right at the bottom of this. And you can see he's right there, ready to go up. And we can animate him page one to page two. We want him to go up the stage, across the stage, and down. And you'll notice that he goes right through it. He's disappeared and he's come out the other side. We have to change the properties of these props in order for them to be walked on. So select your ramp, go to Performer Prop, Visuals Editor, Can Be Walked On, Apply. Sometimes you have to do these one by one because they won't give you this option. So always do them one by one and that'll help make sure, ensure that, that, that you get each one of them walked on. We're not done yet though because the students that travel on them, like this guy here, has to also have properties 
So he has to go to performer prop and you have to put can walk on performer props. Apply changes. So now everybody can be walked on and can walk on props. Now he should go up and down. And that's a good useful tool because you may have students that you want, uh, say your prop has an opening here. Um, you can have them uh, be selected to say not uh, walk on performer props and they can actually march through an opening. And you can have kids go through props and on top of props uh, to animate them properly, which is pretty cool. All right, quick pro tip uh, about props real quick before uh, this video is done. You want to make sure that you lock your, your props in so that you don't accidentally select them and move them while you're writing. A good way to do that is to select them, head to display, come down here to lock selection. And now uh, your, your props are locked in and you're not accidentally going to move them around the drill when you're writing. So you can just select any uh, performer that's near it and you won't have the um, headache of accidentally selecting your prop. So I hope this helped you. I hope that this tutorial was kind of quick and succinct and can help you plan your next setup for your drill file. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in the future.